Oh. Hey guys, Crystal here with Sea Light Candles and Soaps. And before we get started with today's um, uh, soap, uh, I want to show you guys some new soaps that are up on the website. We've got a couple uh, men's scents, some fun scents, some female scents, and some unisex scents. Uh, this one here is Summer Solstice, and it's my own scent blend, and oh my gosh, does it smell good. And it's got some fun colors, if you guys can see that right there. So this one is Summer Solstice, up on the website. And then we've got um, Apple Mango Tango. I absolutely love this soap. Love this is this. one of my favorite fragrances. Love you. This is one of my favorite fragrances. Uh, it's one of my top sellers as well. I go through this one like hotcakes. Um, it smells really, really good. If you're ever familiar with Apple Mango Tango scent, it's the uh, Gain scent, the one with the, I think it's like a maroon colored bottle or whatever. And then another one of my favorites I've got here is Fresh Raspberries. And this smells just like fresh raspberries. It's super strong. It smells really good. And I love the design on this. I think I did an in the pot. Whoa. I think I did an in-pot swirl with some pinks and white. And then this one here, I absolutely love this one. This one's fun. Um, this one is Summer Blast. And I'll show you that a little bit. It's got a high top on it. It's super, super good. I love, oh my gosh, I love this scent. This is a mixed scent of a Summer Breeze and um, Love Spell. And together they just smell wonderful. Then I've got a unisex um, soap that um, a lot of men and women like. This one is teeth wood and cardamom. Uh, I love this fragrance. Um, I actually gave this soap and a candle with teak wood and cardamom to my doctor. I'm real. I go to the doctor once a month, and I gave her a soap and a candle that smelled like this, and she absolutely loved it. She really, really loved it. So that's a good unisex scent. And then for the men, I've got just straight up patchouli. So here is my patchouli soap. And that, I mean, it's it smells really good if you like patchouli. And then this one um, is a, a favorite of the men. This one is my Southern Gentleman. And it's patchouli and sandalwood. And it smells really good. And it's antique sandalwood. And then this one here is my Cracklin' and Birch. Now this one is my top seller in my men's scents. Um, I can't keep this one in, especially when I go to uh, fairs and shows. Uh, the men pick this one up like hotcakes. It's really, really good. So, I just wanted to kind of feature some of the new soaps that's up on the website. Um, my patchouli and the... Um, I'm not sure if the Southern gent Gentleman, I know the patchouli and the apple mango tango isn't up on the website yet, but by the time you see this, it will be. Um, I'm trying to keep them uh, from shows because when uh, I take the apple mango tango to a show, I mean, it sells out like that. I mean, everybody picks that scent. Uh, it's a really, really good scent. I love it. It's one of my favorites. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit what we have. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my gloves and we can get started with this video. Um, I found this fragrance. I got an order this morning and uh, in the order was somebody ordered some tarts and uh, I had to go look for the fragrance. Um, that she ordered and I came across this fragrance it's blue raspberry Jolly Rancher and I had just enough fragrance to do this little two and a half pound batch this stuff smells so good guys I mean it's awesome I love this scent I mean it smells just like a Jolly Rancher it's nice and sweet it smells like candy but it also smells like raspberries so um, let me get my I'm not even organized here I forgot my stick blender. I forgot to blend in my Kaolin clay, which I do. Um, usually, I blend in the Kaolin clay with my milks. So let me do that real quick. It's easier to blend in with the milk.
And the milk I have is oat milk. It's right here. It's really good. So let me go ahead and get my Kalen clay and my oat milk in. And we're doing a fun soap today. I'm doing some fun colors. And you guys know it as the tall and skinny shimmy. But I don't have a tall and skinny, so we're just doing the shimmy. <laughs> if, but I, I've never done this type of pour before. I've done a wall pour, but I've never done this exactly type of pour. I've got a bunch on the side there. So uh, I'll show you what I mean, but what I want to do here in just a second. Let me get this oatmeal mix. There's my oat milk. Let's go ahead and get my lye in there. And it's got silk and sodium lactate. Alright, let me rinse this off. of Tessa Silk for it with my order for Micah's and more and it didn't dissolve very good so I should have straightened this and my water was actually aloe so I'm gonna make sure this is good and blended because that silk didn't dissolve I'm going to switch back to my original silk that I use. It dissolves nicely. It's wild silk. I can definitely tell a difference. I don't think this is wild silk. Uh, I don't believe so anyway. Alright, that looks good and mixed. Alright guys, so I got all my colors. My back is killing me today. I have back problems. I've got degenerative disc disease and uh, scoliosis and arthritis in my back and it is killing me sitting here standing here all right so i'm gonna add some fragrance so there's the pink love this purple it's my favorite purple and some blue and finally my green Cautious stuff smells good. Alright. Let me get some spatulas here. Maybe I can just use these two. Maybe one for the purple and pink and one for the green and blue. That way I don't dirty up so many spatulas. So there's the blue. I love these colors. I just thought it was fitting to go with a Jolly, Jolly Rancher scent. Jolly Ranchers are so colorful. So there's my green and blue. Gosh, my back is really hurting me today, guys. I'm praying just to get through this. That's how bad it's hurting. I know I can't stop because I've got to make the soap. It's already started. Alright, so we have this. And then I need something to use. Maybe my thermometer. No, that won't work. 
What can I use? What can I use? Okay, we got a box of food coloring. How about that? Oh, perfect. Okay, I don't know what color I should start with. I think I'm going to start with the blue. And with the tall and skinny shimmy, is what I understand it as. Uh, it's a wall pour. I'll make sure you guys can see that. Okay. It's a wall pour. And I'm actually going to turn it this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. Come on. It's not wanting to do it. Okay, there we go. Uh, it's a wall pour, but I don't think you go back and forth. I think you just pour all one color in at one time, and then you just rotate. So I think the first color I'm going to do is this blue. So I'm going to go ahead and get all the color in there. Leave the rest for the top. And then switch it this way. And then I'm going to do purple. If I can pour it right. Oh my gosh, I made a mess. That is a mess. Okay. And then we turn it up again this side. I think I'm just going to do green. Then this side, and we'll fill it up the rest of the way if I have enough room. Okay, there's not no room on that, so I'm just going to take it down and do it this way. Is how you do the tall and skinny shimmy without the tall and skinny that's my shimmy anyway and we'll see how that turns out clean up my mess and I want to do a textured top on this so I'm actually going to wait to put the topping on um, I want to do a, a spoon top so I'm going to knock all these down and then I will plop them on here in just a minute. I'm going to let it set up a little bit. I think I left enough for the topping. So there's the blue one. Oh, my phone's ringing too. I don't know who it is. They can wait. Alright guys, so this is all knocked down. I'm going to wait for this to set up just a little bit, and then we'll be back to do the top, so stay tuned. Back and I forgot to show you the best soap that I have that's going to be up. It's not up yet, but by the time you watch this, it will be. This is Santa Baby, and oh my gosh, does it smell good. Let me go up close with that. Isn't that pretty? It's got some maroon and some greens and some gold. show you that one, and it, oh, I can't stop smelling it. It smells, it just smells so good. It, it smells like a fresh, not fresh, it's not like a fresh smell. It's not like an outdoorsy smell. It's like, I don't know, it's like a juicy, I don't know, it's not a candy cane. It's not, it's like a juicy berry. Oh gosh, I can't explain it. But, oh, it smells really good. And look at those swirls on that. Isn't that beautiful? So that is my Santa baby. And that one is cured, going to be up on the website. So let me get my gloves back on. I just had to show you that one real quick. I forgot to show you that earlier. And that's one of my favorite ones out of all of them. It just smells so good. And uh, I want to give you guys a coupon code. If you want um, to order um, for the holidays, I have a coupon code for you for 10% off. Uh, at checkout, just put in um, welcome10. Uh, that's welcome, W E L C O M E, and then the letter, the number 10. And then it'll give you guys 10% off at checkout. So if you want to check that out, 
uh, for the holidays, you know, for Christmas gifts or whatever. And um, I'm putting all kinds of, I'm putting all kinds of um, soaps on the website. Um, I've been working on it this week. So we're just going to layer this top in a little bit. Layer the colors. We'll do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then we'll come back. And I want to do a spoon top on this. That's what I want to do. But I want to layer the colors on there. I don't want them to be like all on top of each other. I want them to be layered. So there's that. Let's go back to the purple. Don't you have any more gloves left? Yeah, I got gloves, buddy. Oh. I'm going to put glitter on it? Yeah, I'm going to put some glitter on it. How about the rainbow kind? I don't have a rainbow glitter, bud. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. My son is home from school today. He's got a virus. He's got an upset belly. That's not rainbow. That's iridescent. He's got an upset stomach, so he has stayed home today. Go on, bud. And he just got out of the shower. He said he's got a headache. He likes to take a cold shower when he gets his headaches. He wears glasses, so he gets headaches from his eyes. But um, we give him some Tylenol, and he'll lay down or take a cold shower. Uh, my husband also gets really bad headaches. Um, oh, darn. I'm making a mess. Are you going to that part out? No. Um, my husband also gets really, really bad headaches. Um, he gets them almost every day. They're like migraines. Me too. And I don't know if my son has inherited his dad's migraines or if it's from his eyes. I'm pretty sure it's a little bit of both. What's in here? But I hate it for them because I really barely ever get a headache. But they get them like, my husband gets them every single day. Like crazy? And my, my little boy gets them like crazy too. Um, he gets them a lot. So, um, yeah, he's been learning about metaphors and similes. Simmerly, is it similes? Similes. Simile. I could never could say that word right. I know how to say it. I just never could say it right. Um, he's been learning about that in school, so every time we use one, he'll say metaphor or simile, and I'm like, yeah. And I'll so I'm just making sure I got all this scraped out, and then we'll do a pretty top. I think that's all I'm going to get out of there. And I got a small spoon here, so I'm just going to, you just had some lasagna. I'm hungry. You can wait and for another hour for lunch. It's 11.50. So, I'm just trying to bring the sides up here. And I don't want to muddy the colors too much. I think you have a spoon, so are you going to do a spoon? Or are you going to put, you going to put it on the spoon and put it down? And it's not really good to do a top with right this minute. And I'm just muddying the colors up. So I'm going to stop there. Because I don't want to muddy them up too bad. Metaphor. Um, clean up that mess. I might come back when it's set up a little bit more. And try to um, do it some more. But... Try to get all that on there. Can't wait for Nanny to come. And when Nanny comes to get one up. So definitely go check out all the new soaps on the website. You'll be glad you did, I promise. And she sold all and the And also soaps. make sure to use that coupon code. And of course we have flat rate shipping over there. Mom, so anything you order can you is just gonna be one flat rate for shipping. Mom? Yeah, buddy. Can you make me another soap? Can you, can you so, um, yeah. So, go check it out, definitely. And by the time this video is up, those other soaps that I mentioned will already be up on the website. Um, most of them are up anyway. So, what I've been doing 
is um, as we are packing to move, I have been uploading uh, websites and then putting the particular soaps in a box and then writing the name of the soap on the box. And these are the ones that um, have came out of Cure and that are ready to go. So definitely go check it out, guys. Um, I'm glad you joined me today for my not-so-tall and skinny, but my shimmy. I wonder how it's going to turn out. I've never done it before. I hope it turns out pretty. Um, I'm going to wait to put some iridescent glitter on there. Not some iridescent, maybe some twinkling lights glitter. But I wanted to set up a little bit more, and I'm going to do a little bit more of a spoon top. I just don't want to muddy it too much. It's already, it was getting muddy as I was doing that, so it's not quite set up yet. But we will give her a cut tomorrow, guys. So thanks so much for watching, and stay tuned for the cut. I'm Crystal here, and we are back. We're back to cut the Blue Raspberry Jolly Rancher, and I've got a little bit of ash on top. First time I've really gotten ash. Well, I've gotten it a couple times, but uh, usually I don't. But there's the look from the side. And if you remember from my video, um, we did the tall and skinny shimmy without the tall and skinny. So, I wonder if I did it right. I'm hoping I did. It's the first time I've ever done it. So, I'm hoping that it turns out okay. And we're just going to take a little end piece off. Okay, so that's a little different. Okay, so you can tell where I poured it a little bit, but the purple's a little bit out of place. I wish it would have been more rounded like the green and the pink is, but it still looks really nice. That's a little bit better. And you guys, you have to smell this fragrance. Oh my gosh, it just smells so good. It smells just like a Jolly Rancher. It smells awesome. But I like it. It's not like perfect uh, circles, but I like it like that. It gives it character. And there's something I want to talk to you guys about. I now have a Facebook group. Um, I mentioned it in the um, description box on my channel trailer. But I finally got a group up and going. I don't have the pinned post wrote yet. Or the files done that I want to do. None of that is done yet. But you guys are more than welcome to come. And share anything you'd like. Anything goes. Um, share your creations. Uh, pictures of your soaps, whatever. Um, it's called Suds Crazy, and I think I'm just going to keep that one like that. Uh, it's S U D Z C R A Z Y, just Suds with a Z, and then Crazy. So if you guys want to come join my Facebook group, I finally have it up. It took me forever to come up with a name because everything I liked was already taken. So, but I, I really liked Suds Crazy. And so it wasn't taken, so I went ahead and made it a group. And I've been promising you guys for a while now that I would have a group. So now I finally do. So if you want to come join us, then that's fine. Um, it is a closed group, so your, uh, your membership will have to be approved. And I will be looking for one or two more admins. Um, I'm not going to have them right now, but uh, I will be on the lookout for some admins. Just be reminded of that. Alright guys, so um, yeah, if you want to check out my Facebook page too, go ahead and check that out. And my, I have a blog on my website. My Facebook page is sealightcandles.com, Facebook slash sealightcandles. And my website, excuse me, I said it wrong. And my website is www.sealightcandles.com. And then again, our new group that I made is Suds Crazy. Suds with a Z and then Crazy. So come join us, guys. So I got one more to cut after this. And then uh, I think I'm 
pretty much done for today. Alright, so till the next video, guys. Bye-bye.